everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be doing a twin telepathy t-shirt painting art challenge. We've done a similar video to this before where you made some Van Gogh inspired sweatshirts. They went really well so make sure to go watch them. We had a lot of requests to do a part two to that challenge so that's what we're going to be doing today. Today we're painting t-shirts inspired by artists and we have no idea what the artist is or what the t-shirt looks like. And a lot of you have asked what paints we use on our clothes and we always use acrylic paint. I know you can buy fabric paints and things like that, but acrylics can be a lot cheaper and we get them from Hobbycraft or Amazon. But if you are going to use them on clothes, you need to iron over after so it doesn't crease or break. So before we get started, as always, we want to say we hope you're all well and we hope you're all staying safe. So we're filming this on Sunday the 3rd of May and we're still in lockdown today. Yeah. So we know lockdown is being lifted in some countries, it's in the process of changing now. And it is still important to keep following the government's rules and guidelines. And as always we really want to thank all of the UK NHS workers and health workers around the world for working hard to keep us safe. And thank you for all your lovely comments on the community page, we love reading them. And please keep tagging us on Instagram in all the stuff you make from our channel. Okay, so let's get on with the video. Okay, so how this challenge works is we'll have seven rounds and for each round our mum will give us a range of different art supplies to paint our t-shirts with. We have to try and get the same things and if we do, we get a point. If we don't, we get zero points. At the end, we'll reveal what we've made to each other and we'll be able to judge how we've done. Hopefully good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started and put the board up. Three, two, one. So we're gonna go on to round one now and we're gonna shut our eyes and when we open them we'll have stuff in front of us. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. So we have a black shirt and a white shirt and these are like really similar so I don't know. I'm leaning towards this one for painting on. I'm leaning towards this one for painting on, but this one but I like this one without paint. I think I'm going to eliminate this one and pick this one. The reasons are half of them are the ones that I couldn't say on camera because it would give it away. But I think that out of these two, that the best thing to go with these sort of paints would be this one, in my opinion. And also, uh, I think she prefers this sort of shirt, but I'm not actually sure. Because she doesn't have many of them. Okay, prefers this one, doesn't have many of them, this one. So I'm assuming we'll be talking about this one based off what she said there. I really don't know about the other thing because paint would work on both of them. Okay, so I'm picking this one and I'm picking this one. So we've got our t-shirts and now we're gonna get something else. It might be paints, it might be designs. It's been loads of different things in the past, so we'll find out. So let's close our eyes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, these are oh. cute. Okay, so we have a metallic light kind of green blue, just a bright blue, and a lilac purple blue. I'm thinking, wait, I want to pick this one. I don't think you're gonna pick this one for reasons I actually can't say on camera, so we'll give it away. Between these two, I think, I think you always end up using this color in the end, and so do I, and I feel like this time we should go with something different. Hopefully that gives a clue. So I'm gonna go with this one. That threw me off. <laughs> um, that really threw me off. I really want to go for this one, but I'm not sure if that is the one she was talking about or wasn't. So I think I'm just gonna go for it anyway. So I'm going for this one and I'm picking this one. Round three. Three, two, one. Oh. Ooh. I can't tell if these are all red tones or purple. So we have a red. Yeah. We have an burgundy. Yeah. <laughs> and we have purple. These are quite similar to the last one. We have two of the same tone and one kind of outlier, I guess. So it's making it really hard because what we pick now not only relies on what the other person picks and trying to pick the same thing, but it also relies on what we picked last round. And we don't even know what we're painting yeah. yet, so it's kind of hard. So I'm just kind of picking colours I think you'll pick and we both like. Yeah. So for this round, I immediately don't think either of us will pick this. And out of these two, for mine, I would definitely go for this one. I'm actually trying to read your mind, so I think the first thing was this. 
Uh, okay, right. Now I've got two colours left. I'm gonna go for this one. I really don't actually know if Rudy's picked it. She might want to. And it also looks kind of cool, this colour. So I'm picking this one. And I'm picking this one. Round four. Okay, let's close our eyes. Three, two, one. Oh. Ooh. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> They're very different. Okay, so we have a really neon orange, a really neon yellow, oh. and like a mix between the two. Yeah, like mustardy kind of yellow. Right. So this is very tricky because I'm looking at my colours and I don't think any of them will match. I think she's gonna pick this one, and this is the one I don't want. <laughs> I really don't like this colour. <sighs> I feel like you're talking about the one I want. This is different to what we've ever done before because they're all the same colour type and it's not like we can shy away from one tone. It's kind of, this is how it's gonna be. Okay, I think this one looks the best with mine. And I actually like this one. I think Ruby does not like any of them except from this one. I might be wrong. I think she's gonna pick this one, but I'm not. I'm gonna pick this one. So I'm picking this one and I'm picking this one. Okay, so on to round five, and I feel like this might be the artist. I'm dying to find out what we're actually painting because it might not match any of these colours. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> I think it might be artist. Yes. Okay, right. We have Picasso, Mondrian, and Banksy. Ooh, okay. So Picasso is a Spanish artist. I do a lot of him in school, and I know that he's quite known for cubism, still life portraiture. <laughs> and Mondrian, the artist, he does loads of geometric things and like straight like cubes, I guess. Yeah. Banksy's a modern day graffiti artist. I've got a t-shirt from him and it's like a girl. He does a lot of people holding things like um, balloons. So I'm currently thinking I don't want to do this one, not because I don't like the art. I will struggle to do this one, so I'm not going to do it. Exactly what you said is the reason I'm not going to do this one. I really like the idea of doing this one. And I know, but I also know this can be good. I really like the idea of doing this one because I like the sort of pattern it does. And right. I really like a style, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. And also I think Rayleigh will pick this one because she's like really good at this sort of thing. Okay, so I'm stuck right now. I know a lot of paintings from this person, done a lot of them. I kind of have a head start with this person but I don't know if I want to make one on a t-shirt. This person I think would look so cool on a t-shirt and a lot of these colours I feel like would look better merged together and I don't know if I want them as blocks. So I'm a bit stuck. Um, we're both having a quick look on our devices because we don't know what the other one will do. I'm kind of stuck between two so I'm just going to have a look. Okay, so I've just looked at some of the paintings online and I've picked the one that I want to do based off what I want and what I think Ruby will pick. I'm gonna switch it up a bit. I'm gonna be using this person and I'm going to be like doing it a little bit differently because I have different sort of colors and I have a different idea in my head. I've chose this because I think Rayleigh will do the same thing with it or something similar to it. So I'm choosing this and I'm choosing this. We have two more rounds now. I actually really don't know what they're gonna be. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, so we have some paint pens and we have a small black one, big white one, and a gold. Silver and a gold. Eliminate these two colors. I'm gonna eliminate this and this one because I don't think she's gonna pick these because she doesn't really like these colors. I want to go for this one because it will match mine and I think I kind of need it for mine, but also Ruby might need this one. I'm gonna pick this one because I think this is what Rayleigh will pick and there's many reasons that I can't say. So I'm picking this one and I'm picking this one. On to the next round. Three, two, one. <gasps> glitter! So we have a black. These are actually really pretty glitters. We have also a blue and a white. The black has like got Christmas colors when you go through it, it. I think that Rayleigh's not gonna go for this one immediately because it's like the one that isn't safe. 
And then between these two, this has a something about it that I think Rainy's really not gonna like the color. So I'm gonna wanna make that one too. And that leaves me. The white looks like snow. I know. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go for this one. I think this one will match mine best. Well, I think Ruby based it off something to do with mine anyway. Something to do with a color I like. And I think because this one shines a certain color, she might have assumed that I don't want it. So I'm gonna go for this one. And I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, so we've got all of our materials. Now we've got our t-shirt. We've also got a drawing board to put the t-shirt on. We've also got our paintbrushes palettes. Our mum has also given us white and black paint so we can control shades of colors. And we also have masking tape. So first, we're gonna put our t-shirts on our board so we can start painting. Okay, so I am finished now. So am I. So the next thing we're gonna do is mask off an area and the part inside the masking tape is what we're gonna use as our canvas and it's what we'll be painting. Okay, so we've both just masked out where we're gonna paint the designs. This is what I'm doing mine. And this is where I'm doing mine. So now we're ready to start with the interior of our designs. I've got to add something to mine before the paints and it's this. And before I can start doing my painting, I have to do quite a lot of work on this. And I, my mum's just given me this, so I'm going to do this first. Okay, well, sounds like we've got a lot to do, so let's get started. <laughs> Mine's actually looking very good and I haven't painted it yet. So... <laughs> I can hear the similar sound. The similar sound? Yeah, what? it sounds like what I'm doing. I think what you're doing tape. Oh, well, you'll find out. Okay, I'm finished with the thing I'm with doing and I'm ready to paint now. I'm not. <laughs> Do I need to wait for you or should I get started? Um, wait for me? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm ready to start painting it now. I've done all of the thing that I was doing before. Same. And I'm gonna start with the first color. Yeah, same. So I'm gonna mix the color with something else to make it something I can't see on camera. I'm gonna start with this color and I'm gonna mix it with this color. So let's go. I can't wait to do this. <laughs> I think it'd be nice to point out these t-shirts and paints like they're a golden trio they are going yeah really nice they really are we got the t-shirts from h&m and the paints we're using are from pbo and they're from amazon they're really good i have now finished with my first color i am still on this color it's really hard for me because this one has to be really precise nice i'm on this one next so i just finished my first color i finished my second color i'm probably doing a lot more than you because i'm yeah still. mine's quite simple i like it though anyway i'm gonna go to this color next and i'm gonna be mixing these two i don't actually need a lot of this color so i'm just gonna put it on the thing like this i need the same amount of each color <laughs> Okay, so I've completely finished painting now, but I have actually got something that I need to do while including paint, I guess. But I have to do something else before that. This is so vague, but I can't give it away. I think it might be something that I have, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna do that now. I've still got quite a lot of painting to do. Oh, wait, I think I know what you're doing and I think we're gonna do the same sort of thing. Be peeling off tape. I cannot confirm nor can I deny. Okay, so I've just taken something off mine and now I'm gonna use this. And I just finished my second color and I'm gonna move on to my third color, which is these. I don't think I'm actually ahead of you because I've gotta add some paint in a minute, so. Oh, 
I did like all of my layers with the paint, so yeah. I won't have to go back to it. Anyway. So you're obviously ahead of me. Mm. my paint and now I've got to do something and take something off so I'm very excited because I'm gonna see if it like worked I've got a bit more painting to do on mine I'm almost done though you can pretty much see what it's gonna look like now and I'm so yeah. excited I think I know what you're gonna do now I think it might be tape so I'm gonna listen for that as you said I can either confirm or deny it's working so fast <laughs> Really, this is so good. That's nice. Okay, so I just did that and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with it, but I don't want to smudge it at all. So I'm going to let it dry overnight. And I've just finished all my painting, but it does need to dry before I add the glitter and the pen as well. So we'll see you tomorrow once they're all done. Okay, so it's the next day and our t-shirts are completely dry, but we have clipped these plastic things on top of them so we don't see each other's. We only have two more things to do, which is the pens and the glitter, but mine is basically finished, so I'm just going to be doing like little finishing touches with them. And for the glitter, we're using fabric glue, and this is meant to work, we've never done it before, but hopefully it does. This is a make called Tulip, and you can get fabric paints from this make as well, and it dries clear, so you can mix it with coloured glitters and not lose the colour. I have a really good idea of what I'm going to do with my marker. I'm quite curious to see if you're doing a lot of your marker or if you're actually doing designs because I'm just using mine to clean some stuff up. So we're going to finish with our glitter and our pens and then we'll be back. For the final reveal. So we just finished the finishing details on our t-shirts and mine's actually turned out so good. It could have gone terribly wrong but it went so good and I cannot wait to see yours. I'm very proud of mine, I really like the way it's looking and I thought the glitter was going to ruin it but I actually like it. So we have put things on top of our designs again so we're going to take the barrier down and we'll see the colour of our t-shirts but um, the design will still be a mystery. I might have to cover something up because it will give it away. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <gasps> Black, <Hello. laughs> why? We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who will pick who shows first. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Me. Okay, I'll move first. Okay. Three, two, one. <gasps> that is so. That is so good. I'm actually so proud of it. I think Monday. once this challenge is done and we've shown each other's and we finished filming, I'm probably gonna crop it. I think that looks so cute. So this is mine, and I'm very proud of it. I like it a lot. I know you got Mondria now, and I know yeah. what we got the same, but you don't. So. so I'll show you mine probably in a minute once you've seen Ruby's, and I cannot wait to see how we've done. Because you know now, you know how we've done. Yeah, we've done bad. Okay. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is mine, and what I did is I did it with Mondrian, so we got the same there. And um, I used the purple, the blue, and the mustard yellow, and I mixed white with it to make them sort of pastel colours. And yeah, I just did like those different shapes of squares. And then I also used the pen to write Mondrian in his like, he Blade uses white. certain handwriting, but I couldn't do that with it, so I just put a dot. That's really <sighs> neat handwriting. Thank you. And then I put the glitter on two of the yellows. The glitter looks so cool because it's like holographic white. Hers is very good. I actually love yours so much. It's really clean looking and the colours are really cool together. I think that's my favourite part of it. So I'm going to show you mine now in full like detail. So this is what it looks like. So the colours I got were burgundy yellow and blue and I made them a lot lighter with a white paint and then I used the black paint and the black pen to patch up the edges and I did the inside lines and then I put the glitter on the yellow. It looks amazing. I'm like, Thank you. I feel like 
both of these two shots together look so cute. I didn't even think to write the name. That wasn't even something I thought. Well, I like the way you've done the black. Thank you. So that is our final paint three color t-shirts. I'm so proud of both of us. We did really good here. Make sure to go over to the community page and comment which one's your favorite, Ruby's or Rayleigh's. Before we go, we just want to show you how to set these designs because those of you have asked. So we always set them with baking paper and an iron. It's really important that you use baking paper because it will melt the paint if you don't. So you put your baking paper on top of the area you've painted. Make sure your iron's on a really low heat because it could still melt the paint if you're not careful. So you just take your iron and iron on top. Okay, so that's my set. Okay, so they're both now set and they should wash really well and none of the paint will come off now. So that's the end of our video. We really hope you've enjoyed. We really enjoyed making these two shirts. We have two shout outs to this week's video. The first shout out goes to Anna K. Thank you so much for hashtagging our sister squad on the community page and consistently commenting really nice things on our channel. It does mean a lot to have your support. The second shout out goes to Jessica Thompson. Thank you so much for subscribing to us. Hashtagging our sister squad and being really positive and for commenting on our community page. We really appreciate it. We can't end this video without thanking our notification squad and Early school, we love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you're staying safe and following the guidelines and social distancing. We love you. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Ruby. Sorry. Hi everyone, it's... <laughs> so uh, <laughs> At the end. <laughs> Why did you just... <gasps> Whoa. Okay, so.